Hi, Tyler Daniel, application engineer here with Xair. So you've just purchased one of Xair's super air knives and aren't sure where to get started. Here at Xair, we believe it's important to ensure our customers get the most out of our engineered compressed air products. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the important things you'll need to consider before getting up and running. Included in the tube along with the knife should be a sheet with some installation and maintenance instructions. If you've lost or can't find it, they are available for download directly off of the website. The first thing we'll need to ensure is that proper line sizes are used to supply air to the knife. The longer the knife, the more air we'll need to feed to it. Consult the chart on the install sheet based on model number and pipe length to ensure you're set up properly from the get-go. Insufficient line sizing will lead to a pressure drop at the point of use and negatively impact performance. It's also important not to use any restrictive fittings such as quick disconnects. While they're convenient, their ID is much smaller than similarly sized pipe or tube and could result in a pressure drop at the air inlet to the knife. If you've purchased a kit, you'll also have received an auto drain filter and pressure regulator. It's critical that the air supplied to the knife is clean, dry, and oil free. With proper filtration at the point of use, X-Air Super Air Knives are completely maintenance free. A pressure regulator can be used upstream to dial in the pressure and fine tune the performance of the Super Air Knife. Here in this example, you can see as the force on the scale decrease as the pressure also decreases. Also included in the kit is a shim set. All aluminum Super Air Knives come with a 1, 3, and 4 thousandths of an inch thick shim in the shim set kit. Stainless steel Super Air Knives come with three two thousandths of an inch thick shim. All knives from stock have a two thousandths of an inch thick shim installed. Thicker shims will produce more force and flow, while thinner shims will conserve more compressed air and reduce the force delivered by the knife. Xair recommends operating at the absolute minimum pressure possible to achieve the desired result, allowing you to keep compressed air consumption to a minimum. Last but certainly not least is positioning of the air knife. When mounting and positioning your super air knife for blow off, time and contact between the part and the airflow is paramount. If the parts are moving, the knife should be positioned blowing against the direction of travel to take advantage of counterflow. In addition to the super air knives discussed in this video, we also offer a line of standard and full flow air knives. Check out the website for some more information on the various sizes we offer for each of those models. If you'd like some more help getting started, don't hesitate to contact an application engineer today. We are available via phone, email, and chat Monday through Friday from the hours of 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching.